only four ingredients, gluten-free, dairy-free, in fact, 100% vegan, whips up in about a minute. I'm gonna show you how to bake this right now, but we gotta focus. First things first, preheat your oven to 350. Grab yourself a bowl, a fork or something to mix with, and a quarter cup or 60 milliliter measuring cup. Now for our wholesome yet delicious ingredients. Almond flour. You can also use any other sort of flour, but in my opinion, almond flour is actually gonna be the most delicious form of flour you can use for this recipe. And then to keep this slightly lower glycemic, we're gonna use coconut sugar. Or if you want, you can use brown sugar. And then for the kicker, peanut butter. Try to get peanut butter that's just made from peanuts. You can use either crunchy or creamy. And finally, baking soda. That's it. Now literally watch how easy this is. We start with our almond flour. You're going to do a half a cup of almond flour. So if you're using a quarter cup, that is two scoops. One and two. I like to make them slightly more heaping scoops. Then we're gonna add the coconut sugar, but we're only gonna add one quarter of a cup. Look at that rich, dark coconut sugar. Ooh. And then we're gonna add our baking soda. All you really have to do is kind of like eyeball it you know, just a little bit, about a dash, like that, you see that? So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna mix this together with your fork or your whisk. Just try to break apart the chunks if there are any. Remove the hair if there are any. That's obviously mine. Don't eat my cookies, make your own cookies. You only need to mix it for about a minute, boom. All right, now we're gonna add the peanut butter. So you want to add approximately half a cup of peanut butter. So that's two quarter cups, one, and finally, you're gonna to wanna to add about an eighth of a cup of water. So that means filling our one quarter cup up about halfway. Jeez. Water's five ingredients. Now once you got that in there, you're just gonna mix it up. You guys are gonna be amazed how, the, how well this bakes up. And it sticks together pretty dang well too for not having any eggs or any like gums or anything like that. Like pretty dang clean guys, pretty dang clean. So you just keep mixing until it's all pretty evenly assimilated. It should look like that. Now at this point, you can add some additional vanilla extract if you have any, or you could add some chocolate chips if you wanna spice things up, or some cacao nibs if you wanna add some chocolate flavor to this, but keep it a little more clean, or maybe even coconut flakes. But I'm just gonna keep this as simple as possible because it's still super delicious with only four ingredients plus water. So mix it up and we're ready to patty. Grab yourself a non-stick baking pan. Ugh. That's just flavor. A baking pan with some parchment paper. Parchment paper is just this paper that you can bake with. And now fun part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these in about little balls like this. You're gonna squeeze them together with your hands and then drop them on your parchment paper. You should be able to make about nine balls, okay? All right. Now your classical peanut butter cookie will be flattened with a fork. But guys, literally for simplicity purposes and also because it kind of sticks to the fork sometimes, what I like to do is I just use my fingers and I squish it down like this and then like this. Boom, boom. And boom, 350 for 15 minutes. Now you can essentially eat these little guys right away, but if you leave them out and let them cool, they will taste much better, or at least have a much better texture that's just decadent. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Now that they have time to cool, look at this, check this out. Right off the parchment paper, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Mmm, that's a one-way ticket to Flavor Town, brother. Oh no, for real. That is good. So wholesome, so satisfying, so easy to make. Now this entire batch is approximately 1,300 calories, which means if you make nine cookies, each cookie is only about 150 calories. I'll leave an exact macro breakdown right there. Super delicious, clean, gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% vegan, zero eggs used. For my normal viewers, I wouldn't eat this all the time, but like if you're seriously craving a delicious cookie, but you wanna keep it as healthy as possible, this would be my go-to right here. That's if you don't have a problem with peanut butter. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on. I hope you all have a great day. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.